Hey everybody, we are back here at the Century Theaters. Ooh, look who I got to stand next to me real quick. The man that tells people what to do. We're talking about director, <laughs> creator of several films in Hollywood and beyond. But today, we're here in Las Vegas and we're talking about the 50 and Over Club. Yes? Yes, And yes, we yes. had another special movie that your daughter was in that we want to talk about too, so let's start there. Done. Uh, what's happening? Uh, yeah, we did uh, show uh, Becky Jane's Big Day, which is uh, my tip of the hat to John Hughes, the great John Hughes, did the 16 Candles and uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and uh, I love movies like that, the coming of age movies of the past, I was just so much fun, a part of my uh, growing up, they don't exist that much anymore, so why not make one and have a little fun and then uh, uh, get to work with my daughter. It was yes, awesome. And she's gorgeous and amazing, I interviewed her <laughs> earlier, she's a chip off of Daddy's Block. But guess what? She got some mommy in there too, doesn't she? Yeah. Your check's in the mail. Get my check's in the mail? <laughs> Your check's well, hey, in the mail. I already auditioned for my co director <laughs> position in the next uh, You're hired. detective, supervisor, whatever That's you got it. going in the movie. Yeah, we got to do that, right? But anyway, we were having so much fun today. Absolutely. What was one of your favorite characters? in the 50 and over club i gotta be honest uh one of my favorite characters in the 50 and over club is trisha man okay. who plays uh uh justin's uh, wife and she's just what i like about trisha she's a great actress but she shows so much diction on her face oh, right. you can see to me directing is always about the eyes and the lips so when you can see the gears moving inside that's when you really get the magic. Okay. You know, the blocking and body language is important, but that's the magic. And she just, right away you kind of go, I know who that is and I get it. Right. And that to me really shines. And of course, Steve Williams killed it. He's <laughs> super talented. He just got done, uh, you know, doing the It, It One, It Two. Uh, uh, I love uh, the character of uh, uh, Trip, who plays uh, mm -hmm. Tony, which is just that laid back kind of, which just fits totally into his character. But I would say, for me, I really, in the editing process, I really love working with Trisha. She was just, it just, just had a magic to her. Oh, that's amazing. He did say eyes, you all, like eyes, right? <laughs> okay, like, let me stop. But I came out to support because I have about five friends that are in the film. Yes. So when they called him, was like, we're going to be in Vegas. Like, oh, I haven't seen you in so long. I'm going to come and film. We're going to talk to some people and have a ball. And then here you were. Yes. I got drug so, into it. We're going to talk about the opportunities that you have coming up on your next few films. Sure. I want you to write something about women when we are trying to do something in the world. We're running around, we're getting busy, and we're all pretty and got it all together. And then we break our fingernail. You see that? I broke my fingernail on the Don't way here. Don't break your fingernail. Yes. Yeah, so it hurts. I want to come up with this new Band-Aid. It has bling on it because I'm the bling queen. <laughs> A bling band aid. Yes, I like right. it. That's right. And band aid, I'm coming for you to do that packet for me, amen, right? Amen. Yes. So, uh, is there something special you want to say to anybody here? You know what? Absolutely. You know, uh, one, thank you for supporting media, supporting film. This is great. Hanging out with Mimi. Mini? Yeah, Mini. It's all Mini, good. Mini, Mini, Mini Series, Mini uh, here in Vegas. And uh, yeah, support film. Enjoy. You know what I love about film? And, and, and tell me if you're the same. Mm -hmm. Film to me is a two hour vacation. You know, some people, they, they can't go to Cancun for a week or two weeks, you know, but they can afford a movie ticket. Right. And, and just get away for two hours. And, and to be on the other side of the camera, ultimately that's what my goal is as a writer, director, uh, producer, is to create mini vacations where people can drift off, forget about their bills, have a good time, mm -hmm. get intrigued with the story, and come out of the movie theater changed from when they went in. And, and, and to me, it's about... The, the audience. It's always about the audience, the listener. So uh, I enjoy that part of it. So uh, All of the storytelling. Storytelling. Right? Because he's in control as a director and he tells everybody <laughs> what to do. That's uh, going to be what you better watch, right? Do me a favor and yes, tell yes. everybody what is the um, the meaning behind your initials and your name because I understand it means oh, something I, great. I'll give it to you. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, C.G. Reich, um, when I was 15, I, I, about 35 years I spent my life touring different musicians, you know, uh, different artists. And uh, when I started off, my, my real name is Chris Garrett. That's the C.G. Okay. I thought that sounded like a doctor. I know, right? Paging Dr. Garrett. And I'm like, <laughs> that doesn't work. I'm supposed to be this rock and roll guy. So I came up with C.G. Reich. Right. And so that seemed to roll. And, and I, I used that. But what, what the benefits of that down the road I never thought of. 
uh, when you start touring and get like fans, you get some psychos, some yes. some people that you need to be. And I'm I'm sure you're aware that you got to be aware of, and you don't always know who they are. Or, but so if they Google CG Reich, you know, 50 pages will come up, but my house don't come up, and my family don't come that's up. Good. That's so it protects family. them. So um, that's. And so it's kind of stuck. And then if a bill collector calls, not oh, like hey, they have a call, hey. and they ask for <laughs> Chris Garrett, then I know it's a bill collector. And that's see you right. I know it's business. Right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to make it business and not collecting any bills at no all. Bills. We're going to keep we're, having some fun here today, we're right? Paid in full. Paid in full. So you keep your eyes out for CG because that's what you want to know I'm by, right? Yep, yep. So we know that you're looking for the right just man don't call in the me house. Late for, just don't call me late for dinner. Don't call huh? me late for dinner. I'm Speaking of that, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal? Man, I like Italian. Mm -hmm. I like Mexican. Um, a lot of stuff that's not healthy, I'm trying to fix that. I need to get trim like right. you. Oh, my. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, so... But I like Italian, Mexican, I love that. Okay. So. Well, we welcome you to the 50 and Over Club. So if you're 50 and over, we did this just for you to get out there, have some fun, get your butt off the couch, go out, support films and filmmakers all over the world. Yeah. And remember, a director will always tell you what to do. We'll be right back <laughs> after this next take. Thank you so much.